Hi again, friends. It's me, Miss Cat, with another story time here today. And before we begin, again, I would love to thank the um, authors and illustrators and publishers who are letting us use their work in these unprecedented times. And our story tonight is called Peanut Butter and Jellyfishes, a very silly alphabet book. Now, this book is by Brian P. Clearly, and Betsy E. Snyder did the pictures. All right, let's begin. So we've got peanut butter and jellyfishes. Let's see, he's got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that's, oh, and he's got a spoon that has peanut butter on it. Oh, man, I love to lick the spoon when there's like, when there's some cake batter or brownies or cookies. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see what we can read about peanut butter and jellyfishes. <clears throat> let's see. A is for antelopes forming an arc. Do you see how they're jumping? Jump, wee, wee, like that. B, b, b begins birch trees with b -b bubblegum bark. Birch trees with bubblegum bark? That looks a little too silly to be real, but oh boy, and let's see. Oh, and then it's got a little carving in the tree that says Bubba and Betty. All right, and then C, what do you think C stands for? Well, we've got a k -k cat with a k -k calico k -k coat. A cat with a calico coat who k -k camps by a castle and cooks by a moat. Oh my goodness. And do you see what's in the moat? What does that look like? Maybe a k -k -k crocodile? All right, and let's see what what do you think D could be? Those are some good words that start with D. Let's see. D D D, D starts Dalmatian. A D, D dog who's been spotted. E is for e, e, each evergreen that Elvis plotted. Elvis Oh my goodness, is that Elvis planting evergreen trees? That's pretty silly. F, f, f starts flamingo. And G, g, g begins Gary the g, g, gerbil. So G can be g, g, Gary and G, g gerbil. And then we've got H that helps us say is quite hairy. Let's see, so let's see. And Gary the Kid's gerbil, H would say is quite hairy. So Gary the gerbil, he's pretty hairy. Looks like he's gonna have a little haircut. I is for ice cream, the size of an igloo. J, j j is for jars full of j jasmine and wig glue. Wig glue? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. K, k, k starts karate and kangaroos kissing and kilt wearing kittens kickstands are missing. Oh my goodness. So what do we have here? Looks like some kangaroos kissing. And then we've got here some kittens whose kickstands are missing. Those are some pretty brave kittens. Let's see. L. L. L is for L. L is for letters that start the word Llama, and llama has two L's in front of it. M, M, 
begins motorbike, makeup, and mama. Ooh, and look at there. We've got a mama on a, a mama llama on a motorbike with a little baby, and she's got some really nice makeup done. Way to go, mama llama. N is for Newt with a necklace of noodles. O begins ostrich with oats by the oodles. And isn't it fun to say O? You make an O with your mouth. You go, O. Ooh. Ostrich. Oats. Oodles. Oodles is such a fun word. P is for patterns on plates and dishes. And plain peanut butter. And pink jellyfishes. Oh my goodness, here are the jellyfishes. That's so cute. Let's see, what does it look like there? Oh, they're eating some spaghetti and some sandwiches. Ooh, I bet there's peanut butter in some of those sandwiches. Peanut butter and jelly. Q. Q is a different one. Q starts quail, who is quiet and quivers. R is for rafting, red, raspberry, rivers. Oh my goodness, what a silly world they've got. Can you imagine a river that's made of raspberries? <laughs> this is a pretty silly alphabet book. Let's see. S, 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 S starts off saddles on seven blue ponies. Let's see if we can count them. It says there's seven. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blue ponies. T is for t -t tents filled with Tina's and Tony's. Oh, it looks like those are tents, and Tony's are here, and Tina's are over here. All right. U starts ooh, umbrellas, unfolding, uptown, and underpants on an unusual clown. Silly. Does that look like a clown to you? Kind of. I think it, it is an unusual clown because I think it looks like a poodle. Yeah, maybe a poodle dog? V, v, v starts a veil wearing volleyball player. D, d, w starts Will. Who is a wallaby where? Let's see, and this says Will's Way Station. And he's playing a violin for, oh, look, and then, look, it looks like these two are getting married. That's really nice. Oh, that's why she's wearing a veil, because she's getting married. Okay. X, X is the end sound in ox and X. Let's see, and Y, Y, y starts Y. Yolanda with six yellow yaks. Six yellow yaks? All right, well, I have to count those, too. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six yellow yaks. Six yellow yaks. I don't think I've seen one yak in my life. They look pretty furry, though. Ooh, and let's see, I think we're at the final letter. Z, Z begins zebra and zipper and zoo. I love going to the zoo. I hope when everything's a little bit better, I can go to the zoo again. I know my ABCs. How about you? I know, that's great. 
Yeah, the ABCs are really important to know because when you've got all of your ABCs memorized, then you can spell stuff like snail or pepperoni pizza or ornaments or shells. I love collecting shells on the beach. What's something you like to do? That's great. I really hope to see you again at another story time really soon. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by and talking to Miss Cat for a little while. Have a good night.